Hi, it's Nick Rickies. Welcome back to another video. And before we get into this, I just want to announce that a Freddy Fazbear plush has been announced. I am so psyched. I'm probably gonna, just going to buy that one instead of make one. But I don't know yet. I really hope I can get one, though. If I do, I'll definitely review it on this channel. So anyways, we're going to be doing the FNAF Custom Plush Showcase once again. And I know it was a short, uh, short amount of time before I did like the first episode but if i have the plush to send in i'll do it and if you guys want to be featured any of your customs in the future either send it to me on instagram link in the description below or you're a part of pogo's pizzeria plush chat those are the only things that i will really accept them on unless you find a way to just send them to me anyways without further ado let's get into this all right first up we have this four set of the Aped Baby, which I'm just going to say it looks incredible. I love it. It looks so good. I remember when it was released for the AR game, and I was like, really, like, I was surprised, but like, now the Aped Baby is canon somewhat, but that's just awesome. And this plush perfectly represents it. I might make one in the future. Um, so if you guys want me to do uh, do that, let me know in the future. And eventually, if you guys want, I can do a custom plush collection of my customs anyways this looks amazing i love it so, and that's all i have to say about it next up we have a shadow bonnie <clears throat> like the one that i made last video and it looks so good way much better than mine like it, they got the pattern right like it looks like a funko like an official funko and it looks so good well sewn well made the eyes are popping out like a funko should be nice like it's just a very simple plush but it's really good um i like the teeth and yeah next up we have toy freddy which already has a plush but he wanted to make a toy freddy since toy freddy is extremely expensive and rare so this one looks incredible it looks very accurate to the original if not like more game accurate to the actual colors of toy freddy and it looks amazing it looks incredible i love it personally and yeah let me know what you guys think of this plush in the comments below because we have a comparison which one do you guys like better the official or this one personally i like this one and i have the official all right and last but not least we have the puggos oc from puggos pizzeria it looks really good nice simple colors but it still looks amazing all around i love it and yeah Okay, moving on to this Shadow Freddy that we got right here. It, yet again, this is like the same thing for um, Toy Freddy. We also have a comparison, so make sure you guys comment below which one you like more. And personally, this looks incredible. I love, yet again, the colors are spot on. The plush style is very accurate. It looks adorable and so soft. I think it looks amazing. And overall, just a fantastic uh, made plush. And I am very impressed. If this guy has any more, please send them in. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy who made Fredbear. And what a, like, this guy is like two for two. These are super accurate and really good. I love it. All right, next one, we have a pretty big lot. All right, so we have um, a lot of characters that someone sent me in and I remember exactly what they told me and like this is like very accurate to like the last one because it's a continuation of the last one one of them that I went over was the glitch trap and phantom freddy it's the same guy who made those as you guys can see so I won't go over those guys because you guys already know if you want to know my opinion check out the original video but here we have two Shadow Freddies, one in the Phantom Freddy style that he did, and one made out of yarn. They both look amazing, really good job with the coloration, uh, great and nice and accurate. I really like it, and overall it looks fantastic. I really like the yarn Shadow Freddy because it looks like more unique. It looks like it's his own style. I would like to see more FNAF plushes in that style in the future. So if you make any more, please send them in. And it doesn't even need to be in that style, just in general. You're a great plush maker and I'd love to see more from you. And this, these just look fantastic. The Shadow Freddies are amazing and they look really awesome together. All right, next we have like a uh, Withered Freddy custom that looks like. Um, like right there beside that bendy, but 
It looks really good. I, I personally like it. There's like a little circle in the middle. I don't know what that is. This might be an OC or something, but like overall, like I like what the small changes that he did to it. It made it really nice and effective. And yeah. Next up, we have Ignited Freddy. I can tell that from a mile away. It looks incredible. He got the eyes right. He took away like one of the arms to give it like a gray stub instead. And he even got the top part of the mouth gray and he got the endoskeleton mouth. It just looks fantastic. I really like that plush. All right, next up, we have this Funtime Foxy plush. I think it might be custom to look a little more like the original, like, Mangle from the like Mangle plush from FNAF 4. I don't know if you're watching this, buddy. Please let me know what that character is. But, like, I really like it. I see, like, I don't know how you change the colors. And also, you put, like, a little something on her stomach. It looks really cute and it looks really good. I can already tell from over here, it looks amazing. Like, a plus, man. Next up, probably my favorite, I would say. Uh, we have Nightmare. It looks super good. I think this is one of my the first nightmares we've got we're getting into. But this one looks amazing. As you guys can see, it has he's like he colored it completely black and great job, I must add to that. I like the yellow hat that you put in, in the bow tie and you gave him the red eyes. It's amazingly done. I love how it looks. It looks incredible. And I think that's about it for Nightmare. It's just really simple. Like, one of the most mysterious characters, yet one of the best characters, in my opinion. All right, then we have Glitch Trap. Like, we already went over him. And also, there's a little Bon Bon, as you can just cut it off from a fun time Freddy. And personally, that's a great idea. So you could just say you have a Bon Bon plush. Just put, like, a little stick up there, glue it on, and then you have, like, a little Bon Bon puppet, actually. Then you got the Phantom Freddy we went over last time. And then we have a Molten Freddy. That is different than any other design I've ever seen out of the um, co um, like out of custom Molten Freddies. And I really like it. It looks really unique, and that just makes it all the more special. So at least you could say you have a one-of-a-kind Molten Freddy. So, and great job, too. It looks really good. It really looks really good from here, and I would very much like to see more of your customs in the future. Overall, amazing job, man. Next up, we have a Withered Freddy. This looks amazing, just gonna say. And also, the eye was properly dealt with. I'm pretty sure this was done with a Sanshi. This looks like a Sanshi, but um, I really like how it came out. Like, you got the nice black underline, like on how most Withered Freddy plush or customs uh, have. And he got the withering everywhere. He's got the buttons and the black eye, which I thought was an amazing touch. Not a lot of Wither Freddy plushies have that, but he, he did it. And my God, does it look amazing. I very much love this plush. And I would much, I would much like to see more of your customs in the future. Wither Freddy is one of my favorite characters, as you guys can tell from my OC. Since I have changed my list around and tier list around a little bit. If you guys want me to do a remake of the tier list, let me know. And I will. But yeah, this looks amazing. I love the plush. I love how it looks. And the withering, like on how you dirtied it up and also just the tears, that you, like the tears with Sharpie that you put, looks really great all around. Next up is probably one of my favorites is Endo 01. We have we got another one of those from the last time, but this time it's more of the Endo body style. It doesn't stand up this time, but it looks really good. The eyes are adorable. He nailed the eyes. And it looks really good. I very much like it. Like great pattern and great usage of the felt and I really like how you made the head. It really gave the endo look. And it just looks amazing. I love what you did with it. Um, one, you got the eye color spot on. Like, a lot of people miss that, that the endos actually don't have yellow eyes. They have blue eyes. Well, depending on, like, which endo it is. But the one from FNAF World, I'm fairly certain that it has blue eyes. But also the ones from FNAF AR have blue eyes. That's for certain. And great job to accuracy, great job to the plush, and I really hope you enjoy it in your collection. You guys should all enjoy these in your collections. Next up, we have a Fun Time Freddy plush, and it looks so good. In my opinion, it looks so much better than the original because also the face plates open. And that's just amazing. One, the Bon Bon is way more detailed than the one Funko made. I'm not saying that the Bon Bon that Funko made was bad. I'm just saying this one 
has a lot more thought and care put into it. The felt isn't printed on. It looks good. He looks accurate. The hat is better shaped and better made than and more accurate since Funtime Freddy has a smaller hat. Um, he got all the details. He got the darker purple that Funtime Freddy has. And he got the speaker, the bow tie. He just overall nailed this. And the face plates open on the face. That, that, well, that's why they're called face plates. But that's just amazing. And I'm very impressed. Like, if this guy makes any, if this guy made the Yendo plush that we saw yesterday. And, and it looks incredible. Sorry, the Yendo plush that we saw the last video. Not yesterday. But it looks amazing. It looks great. And... I highly, highly, highly recommend that um, the person who made this sends me more because these are like some of my favorite plushes to go over. Alright, next up, we have a Nightmare On and Nightmare Chica custom. They're made from the original uh, Funkos, but I don't care. They look incredible. Nightmare On was given the fingers, the rib cage, and the per like the nicely shaped eyes. He was given the teeth. It looks really good. Simple, yet really good. And that's how Funko makes their plushes. Simple, but they're good. And I very much like this plush. And I was, it makes me sad that we don't have an official. I have a custom uh, Nightmare on 2. I made one out of an extra puppet I had. Like, that was a while ago. But it looks really good. And so does this one. This one looks better than mine, though. But yeah, next up we have Nightmare Chica, one of the ones that everyone was missing from the uh, from the second wave when everyone wanted a Nightmare Chica. We did not get one, but this guy made one he, despite that, and it looks great. Um, the red eye, he got the red eye, and it looks really good. The withering, he got under the belly, like he cut up the bib. The withering's everywhere. It looks great. The, he made the eye black and withered on one and red on the other. It looks really good all together. Alright, and as you guys know, one of the things that I do at the end of all my videos, those were all the plushes that were sent to me by people. And just before we get into this, amazing job to all of you. Yet again, all credit goes to these people who made it because this video would not be possible without them. They're the talented ones, not me. There we go. Now that I have that said, we're going into my custom for this video. It's my Withered Bonnie that I made in like this old Mario Muffet Adventure um, YouTube channel. They made this style of Finance of Race plushies. And I made my own. This was one of the first plushes I ever made. And uh, I'm very proud of how this Withered body came out. I very much like it. And it's, it's a different style than all the others. But I really like it. And that's going to do it for today's video, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this FNAF Custom Plush Showcase. Let me know what you guys thought of the plushes in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought of mine also in the comments below. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more. And also for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.